Namaste. This video is for the participants of the MOOC course AI Tools for Teachers. In this video, we will see how to access the MCQ test in the course. For that purpose, just click on the course tabs. Here there are two ways to reach to the MCQ. First is go click on module and in the module you will see practice MCQ test. Second way is we click on quizzes and then also you will able to see your real test over here. Now remember this practice test is prepared just to give you an experience that how to go about the MCQ test, actual test. Because the actual test is not visible at that's why I am I have prepared the practice MCQ test. Just go to the practice test and you will come to the experience that how you are going to actually give the MCQ test. So this is how the test just click on it. Read all the instruction. Remember your actually MCQ test number one and two, which will be based on the module one and two separately. It will be available in the same format. It will be having uh, 30 minutes and 15 questions will be there and total questions will be 15 marks will be 15. This is something new that you can attempt the test twice. The marks of the second test will be counted for the certification and evaluation. Remember two attempts are not mandatory. Why it is so? Because the second attempt is made due to the technical reason. If someone is not able to complete the test in the first attempt, one can go for the second attempt. But in that case, remember, if you are giving the second attempt, then their marks of the second attempt will be counted for the evaluation. So if you are uh, good with the test one and you are satisfied with your marks, then you should not go for the attempt two. So two attempts are not mandatory. Second attempt is given for the opportunity in case you missed out the attempt one. So this is how uh, in this interface you can see how many attempts are there. You can have given attempt one that's why I can see attempt one and I can see the marks of the attempt. In this practice test only five questions are there and I got one marks out of five. Here you can see uh, the history of the first attempt. When you want to take actually the MCQ test you will have to click take me to the quiz again. I am clicking. So this is how the questions will appear. See questions are here. You will have to click like uh, any other MCQs. So read the question. Read the answer. instruction. This is the question. What is the capital of India? And these are four choices. Here you can see how many questions are there. You can see all the tabs. If you click on uh, the particular question, that question will be appear in front of you. Here one question at a time will be going to appear. You before submitting the quiz, you can. Uh, uh, revise you can edit uh, your answers like question one capital what is the capital of india i have clicked on the option going to first next now two is highlighted here you can see the remaining time then second read every question ca uh, carefully what is the capital of maharashtra you can click on uh, the right options. You can go to the suppose you can go to previous questions also to edit the answer. You can edit the answer again. You can go for the next one. So before unless you submit the quiz, you can edit your options. So I am clicking on Mumbai. Then see three is highlighted. The time you can see over here in that way you can go. The biggest ocean is specific and just clicking on it going to next. I can see one question at a time. Now I purposefully giving the wrong answer. So you can see the what happens if I give the wrong answers. Question four, what is the capital of USA? Then last question, what is the capital of Australia? And now you can see after updating all the five I have clicked because I clicked on it so I can see it is tick mark. So because I have attempted all, so uh, I can see all the tick mark over here and remaining time. At the end of this, all the questions I can see submit the quiz. Once I submitted, 
the questions uh, the uh, the first attempt will be over in case i came out from this uh, due to technical reason still uh, sometimes the attempt is counted sometimes it is not attempt uh, counted it depend on that technical situation but once you start you will have to solve all the 15 question in a row once it is done you can click on uh, submit the quiz once it is submitted you will come to know about your score see here uh, you can see the score 3 out of 5 3 out of 5 so this is the uh, second attempt first attempt now my marks will be second attempt will be counted so remember if you are sure, sure and you are satisfied with the attempt 1 you don't need to go for the attempt 2 attempt 3 uh, try to go for the attempt 2 only if you are sure that you are going to uh, get a better mark than round 1 so this is how in actual MCQ test you will have 15 questions and 30 minutes and you can see your score uh, later on in your grades here you can see your uh, grade here and you also can print your grade and once you attempted all the uh, MCQs and assignments in the course this is how the course make the practice here in the practice test, you take both the attempts, so you will be a master of the, of the taking those MCQs in this course that is called AI Tools for Teachers. Wish you all the best.